we found this place, which was an old piano workshop. No, before it was a sweatshop. When we got here, it was full of sewing machines and things, and, and a piano workshop there. And they made this roof that was meant to last 10 years, but 20 years later, it's still here. And we are still here. I think, I guess, Paul is working on a on some a packaging project for shoes. Yeah, I was right. You were right. See, how did I know? Anyway, we're doing like uh, some packaging for very special shoes, uh, highly confidential. So don't, don't. Uh, this is my place here. What is this? Blonde ambition. And this is my charger. This is where I draw. Ta -da. This is where I draw. Okay, and architecture is down there. Best thing about this place is the coffee. Coffee is really good here. Danny and Julian can show you Plus de Vosges. This is Plus de Vosges, you mean? You show them. Okay. It's uh, an apartment in Paris, in Place de Vosges. It's a system of boxes, kind of stacked, to look as if, as if it's randomly, but then they're both a kind of staircase, grand staircase. We have bedroom, bathroom, and bookshelf come library. And what else do you want to know? This is fantastic photograph from the museum that's about to open on the 31st of January. Some pictures from the site. Really nice. What time of the day is it? This was about 6.30 in the evening, no, 6 o'clock in the evening. That's our most important piece of equipment outside there. Ping pong table. fleet of cars. This one used to glow in the dark. The new 500, Fiat asked me to personalize it. And I sent them a drawing of what you see here. I mean, this is a small car and look how small the original one was. It's, it's the real size. They asked, can we put it in the center? I said, no, I want, the, I want them to share the, the back wheel. And uh, they did it, and when the car was launched, when the new Fiat, they borrowed this car for events, and they were quite, what started as what they thought is going to be embarrassing for them, became like something they love. <laughs> 